It's a way that they cut costs and increase. I mean, to go to the Polaris dealer, you're talking, I have to, I, I now have to find a whole other gas tank for an ATV that was rare, basically with the 525 engine, and find one that matches this or buy a new gas tank from them, which is going to be three, four hundred dollars. It's just, it's just nuts. Do not do this without the gas tank empty and vented out. This gas tank will explode. It's just absurd. They could have used a regular bulb. They're forcing you to go to Polaris. So what they did was they put these metal grommets inside the plastic gas tank and then they press these metal grommets into the gas tank because it's plastic. All they had to do was use metal. That's all they had to do. Unbelievable. Okay, I'm back again and um, let me shut the computer off here or at least pause it. Got the Monster Energy Girls playing. Uh, what we're going to do is basically the gas tank on the Outlaw. Please bear with me on the Outlaw videos, guys. I'm just finally getting back on my feet from my house and my garage model here. I'm trying to get a, a good schedule for YouTube. I'm trying to get two videos out a week, and unfortunately, one of them is going to be vacuums, and more than likely, one of them is going to be Outlaw. Uh, so, anyway, what we're going to do is this. Uh, this fuel tank on this Outlaw, because of its age, you got to realize it's 2007, um, it started to leak. It wasn't the actual pet cock that started to, or it wasn't the actual seal to the gas tank that started to leak, it's the actual pet cock. Um, as it sat through winter and summer on my motorcycle lift, it uh, leaked, I don't know, probably a half gallon worth of gas onto the, uh, the motorcycle lift, so the pet cock needs replaced. But we're also going to replace the gas cap. And we're also going to replace the vent uh, tube here. Now, just for reference, if you have one of these four-wheelers and you're riding off-road and whatnot, this vent tube does go down the neck. I believe there's a hole. It goes down the neck of the uh, steering. Uh, yeah, it should go down the neck of the steering uh, shaft. I'm pretty sure I don't think it sits. There's two holes there. I'll have to relook. Um, sometimes if you're riding in deep water and stuff, just remember, if your gas tank starts acting funny and you're not getting fuel to the car, take a look at where this vent goes. A lot of times, if it goes down into the steering uh, neck, whatever it's called, steering stem, into the steering stem, and the steering stem is full of water, well, guess what? Your, your gas will not flow and you're riding these things off road so that is a possibility just keep that in mind that's from years of experience but uh, yeah I'm going to take this over to the uh, back of the garage workbench and we'll go ahead and get this tore apart and uh, get started okay so we're uh, back here in the back side of the garage and what you're going to need is you're going to need a I'm pretty sure it's a three millimeter vent hose we'll cut this to length um, any of this stuff if I can have the descriptions below. I will uh, put the descriptions below. You're gonna need a new a new pet cock, and uh, I've got went ahead and went with an Alba race cap just for looks and whatnot. And we're gonna use basically a drill and a T. I think it was a 30 T35 bit for the bottom of the uh, the two screws that connect to the pet cock. And we're going to reuse these screws, so don't discard them. The petcock kick doesn't come with um, the screws, so otherwise you're going to be calling Polaris. So there actually isn't. They just put this over here without a clamp on it. Kind of weird, but okay, let's get this. So on the gas tank here, we basically have two screws, two, I'm sorry, two T35s. And we're just going to put it on here. I'm going to put the setting of the drill on low. We're going to make sure that the bit is installed all the way into these Torx heads. We're not going to kind of get them halfway in. We're going to set the, set the Torx head all the way in. Otherwise, you'll strip it. So we've got it lined up. We're going to push it in. And now we're going to pull... That did, that did not come out of there. Okay, 
I actually thought that the uh the bolts were gonna pull this out. And that is not how this is made. Boy, this is stupid the way they made this. Why would they make that like that? This piece looks like it's pressed in. Oh, that's retarded. Oh, I just can't believe that this is pressed in there like that. cannot believe that Polaris made this petcock out of plastic, that the bolts actually go into plastic. I believe someone has tampered with this and screwed this all up. Uh, on, the, on the bottom side of this tank, this whole petcock system appears that it's, it's basically pushed into the gas tank system, so this whole round petcock system is going to have to come out. And I don't even know if this video is going to come out because what I'm going to do, I don't know if I'm going to destroy this tank or not, but I'm going to just proceed to do it and see what happens. We're going to take a large punch and we're going to go around the petcock and we're going to basically beat it out. And it looks like it's moving a little bit, but I don't know if it is or not. This is stupid that they would put all this plastic in there. I mean, it's just, it's dumb. It's, I just can't believe that they would design that like that. to do this. So I can't get 
to the torque heads because the, the main problem when I was making this video is the Torx heads, they just turn. Because what we're going into, I believe, is plastic. Uh, the next step that I tried to do, I tried to take a, uh, a long uh, rod and hammer this out. The next thing that I tried to do was I tried to take a long rod and hammer this petcock out, but the way that it's pressed in here, I don't believe it can be removed, and then I tried to actually twist it, and I ended up putting a hole in the bottom of the gas tank. I'm not so sure I can't repair that, but I want to get this petcock off. I'm so upset out here. This is absolutely ridiculous. This isn't the first thing from Polaris that they pulled this crap on. The headlight bulbs that are proprietary, they cost $45 from the dealer. Hey, it's just absurd they could have used a regular bulb. They're forcing you to go to Polaris. All this stuff, they're forcing you to go to Polaris.
gasket that's leaking. It's unreal. Actually, I'm going to let the air compressor catch up here. Oh, buddy, I am furious over this. You literally, you might be able to change this if you follow what I'm doing now, but they really just push this out for uh, money. Wait till you see wait till you see what they did here. They push they they put inside the plastic they put these tightener pieces in the plastic and what's happened is you can't get them out. they did on this, this plastic gas tank is what you're going to see on this petcock here. Oops. Actually, we're going to take this part to the, we're going to take this over to the vice. Guys and gals, uh, I, I normally, I, I thought I was going to come out here and be in a real good mood, and this is just infuriating that this would be designed like this. This is literally designed to decrease cost, increase hours of work inside the shop, and build things as cheap as possible. So what they did was they put these metal grommets inside the plastic gas tank and then they press these metal grommets into the gas tank because it's plastic. Then you tighten the bolt into the grommet that's inside the gas tank and what's happened is either somebody touched that or over time it only got one good torque on it and what happened is the, the inside grommet that's in the plastic of the gas tank basically was just rounding. It's like it was rounded off. You couldn't catch it from the inside of the gas tank to remove it. It's just, it's a way that they cut cost and increase. I mean, to go to the Polaris dealer, you're talking, I have to, I, I now have to find a whole nother gas tank for an ATV that was rare, basically with the 525 engine, and find one that matches this or buy a new gas tank from them, which is going to be three, four hundred fucking dollars. It's just, it's just nuts. I don't even know if I get this thing out of there. Oh. Go get the rent pack tool. You can't even, I can't even get, I can't even fix this. I can't even get this bolt out. I've already rounded this out. I 
I can't fix it. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> Stupid. Okay, um, I want to show you guys basically what, what's happened now that I'm calmed down a little bit. These are the grommets that they press into the plastic gas tank. And this is the, the T35 Torx head that they put in here. And what had happened was it basically rounded inside the plastic where this piece was pressed into this housing and then uh, either it was over torqued or the plastic got weak and it rounded the hole out there's not there's not a whole lot you can do besides you can buy new kits to press in there and then get one more shot this this should have been such an easy fix for about twelve dollars should have been able just to take these two bolts out and uh, and fix it but as you can see here when I cut it off, you you can you can see that this one was removed, and you can see what they did. All the cut cost, it saved money. Right there. So, and it actually looks like it's made of like copper, and they just press these in, and they actually press them in. It appears from the top side. So what happens is this whole circle piece has to be removed and it is so tied into the gas tank that you can't remove it so i'm going to kind of think about what i need to do um i really don't want to put this video out but this is this is this is polaris bullshit this is this is there is so much with these four-wheelers that they, they just keep hammering their customers and just hey 50 bucks hey 70 bucks that main fuse that blew on the computer it should have just been a regular fuse oh no it had to be a fancy 40 dollar uh fuse specifically designed for polaris so i don't know what i'm gonna do if someone watching this can maybe send me a message maybe they ran into this before uh tell me how they fixed it but i've got a good idea that you just need to go buy an ims oversized gas tank i'm super pissed i failed i'm not real happy it's not my fault i failed this is a this is a design problem by Polaris. There is nothing nothing you can do if you can't get those bolts undone. That it's just so easy. It's just so easy of a fix. All they had to do was use metal. That's all they had to do. And no, they put metal into plastic instead of metal to metal. It's so stupid. Anyway, guys, uh, more videos to come. And uh, shame on you, Polaris. Shame on you. You're just gouging people, and, and who and who is going to school as an engineer that designed this? This is stupid. If I would have sat down at a computer and designed this, you would know that you do not do that. You do not press those fittings into plastic like that and then torque them. It's going to round out. It's not going to work. It, I'm out of here. Stay tuned next week. Uh, hopefully, I, I'll have something else going on.